In this lesson, I want to look at Fireball, song by Deep Purple. And to begin with, in this short lesson, I'm just going to break down uh, the intro drum groove before the rest of the song comes in. Um, so the first thing, I didn't know this song until today when I decided to take a look at it as a request. Um, the first thing I realized when I was listening to it is that I heard it start in a different place to where it starts. It actually comes in on the one, but this is what the song sounds like. Okay, so the first time I listened to it, I heard that as a kind of lead in. So one, two, three, four, but it's not, okay? So the first thing you gotta do is hear it right. So it's one, two, three, four, so that fill starts on the one, and the first snare that you hear is on the and of one. One, two, three, four, one, and two, okay? Now I've written this out with the bass drums playing 16th notes, um, which actually means that the snare drum comes on the, all of the ands. So it might make more sense to write this out um, with the backbeat on the two and four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. But at this speed, I find it easier to think one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and. So that's why I've written it out this way. So the first thing I want to look at is basically playing this bass drum groove and putting in these backbeats, which are essentially every third sixteenth note. And if you look at the first bar of this piece, it's on the one and two e and three and four and one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three and a four e and. So you, when it starts on the and, you've got groups of three: one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Okay, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and. So before we start putting the fills in, let's just get used to playing the bass drums with um, the snare drums in those positions. And if you've checked out the double bass drum lesson on my website in the VIP section, um, I basically talk a lot about bass drum stuff that you should work on before you check out this lesson. But I'm going to be leading with the left foot. So the left foot's on all the ones and the ands, and the right foot is on all the e's and the as. So I'll play the bass drums by themselves, and then I'll add the snare drum on the one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a, and then repeat that bar. Okay, so I'm playing the hi-hat and the left bass drum pedal with my left foot, just so you can tell which bass drum is my left foot, which is the right foot. So this is always on the ones and the ands. Okay, so the second bar, it's still every third note with the snare drum, but this time it starts on the one. So the accent pattern is one, e, and, a, two, e, and, a, and then we've got a, a fill, but I'm just gonna continue that through. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. So that's the next exercise. Bass drums first. Okay, so when you're comfortable with the two of those, the next step I would suggest is getting comfortable putting different ride patterns over the top. So we'll just look at the one that gets used a lot in this song, which is one E and, two E and, three E and, because that is gonna interact with this every third note in the snare in different ways. So one E and, two E and, three E and, four E and. If I put every third note on the snare against that ride pattern, then you get this.
And if you want a suggested way to make that feel comfortable, I would say start off by playing that pattern one e and, two e and, three e and, four e and, playing the left hand on one, two, three, four. So the first, if you divide each beat into four sixteenth notes, one e and, two e and, three e and, four e and, then you put the snare on here, and then you put it on here, and then on here, and then on here. So if I put the snare on the E, that's just getting me used to playing this three note pattern and the backbeat being on the middle note of the ride. Then if I play it on the AND, So they get, that gets me used to playing this pattern and having the snare on the last note, and then I'll play it on the A, which is in the gap of the ride symbol. So then when you play a pattern where you play every third note with the left hand, if we're, if we're thinking one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then this, if we start on the one, it's going to be on, if you have it like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, if you take every third note, it's going to go one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. So it's basically going one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two. Um, so it comes on all of those positions that we've just worked on. And what you're looking for with this is that the motion of your right hand on the ride symbol doesn't change no matter what you're doing with the left hand. So that in itself is a neat little exercise and will help you. I mean, you're playing a polyrhythm there, essentially. Um, and yeah, it's good for independence and things. So back to the groove, we want to be able to play that with the double bass drums. So I'm going to be playing uh, one E and uh, two E and uh, with the legs and one E and two E and three E and on the ride. And then I'm going to put the snare in on one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four and then start again, one E and a two E and a three E and a four. So on the four I'm playing four E and a for resting for the whole beat. And then you should really practice the same thing starting with the snare drum on the and. One E and a two E and a three E and a four, which is the first bar again. Okay, so once you've got that down, that sets you up for playing a lot of the main grooves in this song. So the rest of the stuff we've got to talk about is fills. So like I say in this lesson, I'm going to cover the fills in the first four bars. So the very first fill is between the floor tom and the rack tom, let's just say you've got two toms here, okay? And it's gonna go, I've written this as 30 second notes on here. I'm gonna count it for now as 16th notes. We're gonna go one, e, and, a. Uh, so right, left, right foot. And it's gonna be the right foot, right, left, right, right foot. And then left foot and left hand on the two. So this is actually, I don't really know how I would count 30 second notes, but look at these first, notes here, I'm saying one, E, and a uh, two. So we're basically playing this at half speed just to get the feel of it. Mm -hmm. 
and then I'm going to add the right foot on the answer so one, e, and, and, two, and. Now that's actually double the tempo of that, but the two and is the rate, is the 16th note rate that the bass drums go at. So if I was to continue that at that speed, this is what the groove sounds like. So that's that first line, so it's very, very slow. Um, so let me play this fill on its own and I'll gradually speed it up so you can hear how it fits into the song. So really the key is that you've got that dun 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 gum. That bass drum there is in the middle of the 16th notes. It's basically right between the E and the and. And normally you don't have a bass drum there. So the bass drum pattern is do and the rest of the time it's just the straight notes. Um, so now if I play the whole thing and add, so you have that snare but then you get into this every third note. So that's the first line, and there's also the ride symbol up here. Okay, and then the next line starts with the snare drum accent being on the one. So, we, and also we've now got the one e yan, two e yan on the ride. So let me play the first line and the first two bars of the second line. Um, so you can see how this snare drum suddenly goes from the and of four and then goes to starting again, this every third note pattern on the one, and the ride goes to playing one e and two e and. Okay, so when I just kept the bass drums going at the end there, that's where this first little fill comes in on the second line, which is Okay, so on the snare foot. Now you could play this as doubles, right, right, left, left, right, or singles, right, left, right, left, right. So that fits over the bass drums and it's at twice the rate of the feet. So the feet are going da 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 and the hands are going da ga da ga da ga da da ga da ga da ga da over the feet da ga da ga da. Okay. Again, I talked about some of the complications with this in the lesson uh, about bass drums and things, which is you'll find on my website. Um, so this is what happens if you play those first two lines and add that fill at the end.
Okay, so moving on. So the third line, I've it's still one a yan, one a yan, one a yan on the the ride, but now I've said play that on the crash, one a yan, two a yan. And we're again playing every third note with the left hand. One e yan, a two e yan, a three e yan, a. But then four e is on the tom. One e yan, a two e yan, a three e yan, a four e. Okay, so that's the third line. Okay, so if I just go straight into that and then I'll speed it up gradually. Careful with the, these two hits on the tom, maybe it's easier if you play it on this tom here. Um, make sure that you have start with your stick back here and you let it bounce back up here to get the two loud strokes. It's easy to end up doing this. Where what you want is. Anyway, I digress. Um, final line. Again, one e and a two e and, and then double speed. Digger, 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 digger. Now this is the hardest bit probably of this intro because it's pretty fast uh, if you play it as singles and if you play it as doubles, it's hard to get the volume. So the last line. So you're not playing it very well on the toms there. Um, so if I, I was working on this, I would say take your hands separately. Again, I've got a lesson on my site in the VIP lessons uh, about developing single stroke roll and single stroke roll speed. Um, and you, using the exercise in there will help you get this kind of thing happening. Okay, just a note about the symbols I've written in at the end of the third line. Um, could probably just ignore those. Uh, I'll play it similar to what it is, but there's actually five notes in a row at the end of line three and the beginning of line four. Um, it's hard to tell exactly what's going on on the record, so I might disagree with that when I listen back. Um, but this is what the whole thing sounds like if I build up the speed gradually. So that about pretty much covers it for the intro section. I hope that's made some sense to you. Clearly there's a lot of things if you're not comfortable with doing double bass drum stuff or you know, fast singles and things, then there's a lot of tools that you would need to work on before you would be able to play this solidly. I clearly need to work on some of those singles at the end. Um, if you're interested in checking out the exercises that I use to build that stuff up, then head over to my website, joecrabtree.com forward slash join and you'll get access to a whole bunch of lessons where I talk about all of that stuff and give you really solid practice things to work on that will make a real difference in your playing. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.